Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. I just figured something out, and I figured you'd want to know about it. You know how GMO, genetically modified, meaning the DNA has been modified within foods, especially like fruits, you know, like watermelons with no seeds, and, and well, other, other things. Okay. You know, you know why they're taking the seeds out? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's so that we can't grow our own food for one thing, right? Yep, that's true. And here's the other thing. What have I said they're trying to do? They're trying to put man and woman back together again. They're trying to go back to the garden and put man and woman back together again, right? So they don't have to reproduce. There's no seed, you see? If you don't understand what I mean by put them back together again, think about the symbolization, or the symbolism, excuse me, of them taking down the two towers in New York City, and then they put it back up as one, twisted together like the Tower of Babel. They're trying to become gods. And God don't need to reproduce. They live forever. And what does it talk about in Genesis? About lest they eat from the tree of knowledge, I believe it is, and they will live forever. They're doing the same thing to the foods so that they don't need to produce seeds. Yes, it gives them greater control. Yes, they modify it and make it where it's good for us and all these things. But it just hit me that they are doing the same thing to the foods as they're trying to do to humanity. Don't you think that's quite interesting? I do. Also, guys, I wanted to make you aware that... Uh, as y'all guys know, I'm working very hard on a bunch of projects, and uh, I'm getting ready to release another backed up and relooked at, still containing a lot of it, and still looking at the same things on uh, the iPad Goat Decode thing, which is them showing themselves going back to the garden, you know, with the apple rolling across and hitting the the uh, serpent on the foot Barack Obama most of you know that that means in in the Bible when you translate it back to its original language it means I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning Barack Obama so the apple rolls over and hits the serpent on the foot or hits Satan on the foot however you want to look at it and that's who Barack Obama represents. You see, they're trying to go back to the garden and make a new creation. You know, when the apple rolls over and it hits and it splits open and a, a seed from one half of the apple comes up and, a, and a, a vine or the seed from the other half of the apple comes up and it twists and winds together and t blooms into a flower, a water lily, or a... Uh, lotus flower right it's the same symbolism and that's what they're trying to do so I'm working on that and I'm also looking at the dates very closely and trying to understand the dates as to why is September 23rd so important does it have to do with any significant thing like the birth of Christ or the death of Christ and the resurrection or does it have to do with something else? We're going to get all into that. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Indeed, we are. And also, while I'm still working on that, guys, I wanted to ask you, I still need your support. My links are below. I am uh, running out of the last bread and water that I was allotted. And I still need your support. Yes, things are slowly improving because of the things that I'm building and working on. And I'm working double hard 
I didn't think I could work any harder, but I am. I'm forcing myself to get up earlier in the morning and stay up later in the evenings working. I'm still working right now, and it's almost, well, it's getting dark right now. And I've got another hour at least, and I started working this morning at 7.30. Anyways, guys, I need your support still. I have some things that I'm working on, of course, that should turn into a situation where uh, at some point I can stop asking for your support, but I'm not there yet. So if you can see it in your heart and you've got an extra dollar or five dollars or whatever you can spare, I would greatly appreciate it. I love you. The links are below. Our Father in Heaven loves you. And I'll talk to you again soon. This has been Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority.